Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be showing you how to combine video clips for free using a free piece of software called HitFilm Express. We're gonna be doing this on a Windows 10 computer today. And this is actually the software that I edit most of my YouTube videos on for YouTube and the video you're watching right now. And maybe you've gone out on holidays and you've filmed a whole bunch of video clips and you wanna put them together to make one video that you can share with your friends and family, or maybe even put it on YouTube. We're gonna show you how to easily do that today. But hey, if you're new here, my name is Ken, and this is Northern Viking Every Day, and we bring you videos on reviews and how-tos, so please consider subscribing. It would really help me out here on YouTube. But let's go ahead and jump right over to my computer desktop and get right into editing with HitFilm Express. All right, so here we are on my Windows 10 computer. If you don't have HitFilm Express already, you can download it for free at fxhome.com. I will put a link below in the description so you can easily find it. Once you're on this page, just click on download HitFilm Express. And from here, you'll see a few different options if you do want to start out with a starter pack. But to get it for free, just slide this slider all the way to the left and you can click on download here and then just go ahead and install it. Now, everything we're gonna be doing today is included with the free version of HitFilm Express, so no need to worry there. Now I've gone ahead and put three video files here on my desktop. They're all from a cruise we went on to Alaska, and these are the clips we're just gonna be com combining together today. So those are right there on my desktop. Let's go ahead and open up HitFilm Express. And once you've got it open, it's gonna look something like this, where there's all sorts of ways you can learn about HitFilm Film Express here on the right hand side. But what we're looking for up here in the top left hand corner, you're gonna see two options. One says open. So if you're working on an existing project, you could click on open and search for your project. The other one is new. And that's what we're looking for today is creating a new project. Let's go ahead and double click on new. And it's gonna open up a new project settings window for you right here in the middle. So what we wanna do is select our, our resolution that we wanna be creating this video in. So typically you would pick the same resolution that you filmed your videos in. So I filmed those videos in 1080p. So we can click on this and select, it's already selected as 1080p at 30 frames per second. Maybe you recorded yours at 720p and 30 frames per second, or maybe you're doing 4K and you can select the resolution there as well. So we're just gonna select um, 1080p at 30 frames per second today. That's what I typically would use. Um, you can select the duration of the video right here if you're, this just helps with setting up the timeline for your video later. I'm gonna leave that at five minutes because I'm not gonna be going over that. But if you're doing a 10 minute video, maybe change that to roughly 10 minutes and you can change these settings later. Um, the other thing you can see here is the resolution and the frame rate, it's showing you that again. And we just wanna go ahead and hit okay and it's gonna open up our new project. Now, once this opens up, you're gonna see that my screen is in the dark mode. If you are using this for the first time, it's probably a white color. You're probably in the light mode. Um, this is something that I got a long time ago as a feature, so I have the dark mode. You probably don't have it if you're using this for the first time. Now, one thing I should mention, if your screen looks totally different than mine, one thing you do wanna change, just go up to window here at the top and hover over workspaces. It's the top one here. And I'm using the editing workspace, this one right here. So you could go ahead and click on editing and your screen should look very similar to mine. I just like to drag this over so I can see our output a little bit better. So this black square up here in the top right is where we can preview our video before we export it. So what we're gonna do is import our videos in here, put them together and then export it here in the top right hand corner. So from there, I'm just gonna go over a few things. This area here, you'll have some audio mixers. If you click on audio mixer, you can see your volumes. This area here is where we will put our video files. Down here is where there's all sorts of effects and different things. We're not gonna get into that today. We're only gonna be combining the video clips and exporting it. And this area is your timeline. So this is where you would see your video run through or your player so you can uh, make adjustments and trim off the front and back. So let's get right into this. And I know there's many different ways to do this project in this software. We're gonna do what I feel is probably the easiest to do for you to get this done quickly. So the first thing we need to do, and the way I like to import my files into this project is to 
drag and drop them. Now you could click on import here and find the files on your computer. Um, just search your computer for the files. There they are right there. Maybe I'll do one of them this way. I'll do the one with the water. I just click on it, hit open, and it's gonna bring that file right here into the top corner. Now, the way I usually do it is I just drag and drop them. So I go find them here and just drag and drop them in that area, just like that. And it's gonna bring them right in there. So I've got all three files already in my project. Now, the next thing we need to do is bring our files down into our timeline below so we can start viewing them here in the top right hand window. So the first thing, let's go ahead and drag this middle one down. I'm just gonna drag it down and drop it right in the timeline. Now you can actually move this back and forth as long as you have this little, um, right under my red circle there, there's a mouse cursor. It's like, looks like a mouse. Um, it's blue right now. As long as that's highlighted blue. So if it's on one of these other ones, that won't work like the hand, you need to make sure this mouse cursor it's called, what's it called? Um, I think it's the selection tool. Um, once that's selected, you can slide your videos back and forth just like this. Now, if I go ahead and move this line here you, and move it over back and forth over my video, you can see that I can scrub through my video. There's also a little play button right here at the top right hand corner or um, under the, the preview vid video. So I can hit play there and it's going to play that video for me to, to view it there. Now we want to maybe take off the front and back of this video and you can actually zoom in a little bit here with this slider down here at the bottom. And maybe I want, let me just hit play. And maybe I want my video to stop there. I'm just gonna hit stop again. And you can hit play and stop with your space bar as well. Now I've got this where I want my video to start. Maybe it's right there. Make sure your mouse cursor is selected there. And I can just hover over the edge of my video clip and you'll see a little green squiggly bracket shows up and I can actually just hold down my left mouse button and drag that in. So now my clip is going to pull off the beginning part of it and it's going to start there. So maybe I want to do just watch a few seconds of it, maybe just to there, hit the space bar, or you could hit pause up here. And I'm going to do the same thing from the right hand side. Just hold down my left mouse button and drag it in all the way to the left, just like that. Now I'm going to move this whole clip. So we're still selected with the, the cursor there. We can move it all the way to the left. And maybe that's the whole clip that we want to be using today from that. Now it's time to grab our, our next clip and add that. So we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to grab this staircase one here and drag it down and pop it in the timeline, just like that. So we've got our video and audio. You can see both of them there. Now from here, we want to, we'll just play this one as well. So I'm just going to Hit the space bar here to hit to play it. Maybe I want to start it right there. I'm just going to take my mouse, hold down the left mouse button and drag it in. It's going to take off the beginning. And we'll go right up to there. Maybe I just want the chandelier and I'm going to take this one again, the green bracket there and move that in from the left. Now you're see, you'll see when I play through this, there's actually space where there's nothing in the middle of our video. We wanna just click on this, make sure it's highlighted blue and we can drag it over and drop it right next to the other one. Now you can see I have a red line that shows up when those files are meeting. If you're not seeing that, they're down in the bottom here, there's a little um, magnet. You can see it, it's blue right down here at the bottom. If that's turned off, then these will not snap together. So you wanna make sure that is turned on in order for these files to snap together with the red line so you don't overlap them. So that's the second one done. Let's do the third one here. We'll just drag that down into our timeline, just like that. And we'll hit play again. And maybe we want our video to start, start right there. So I'm just gonna drag that in from the edge. And maybe I just want to go to there and I'll drag this one from the edge as well. So you can trim off the front and back of your videos from there. We're just going to drag this over and again, drop it right next to them. And now our full video is complete. So if I hit play, you can see it's going to go through all three of them without any um, black gaps between them. Now, 
you might be saying, well, that's fine and dandy. They're just gonna um, switch between clips like that, but maybe I want a transition. I'll quickly show you how to add a transition between them. I'm not gonna go too far in depth. Over here on the left-hand side at the bottom, we're gonna scroll down and there's all sorts of transitions here. There's audio and video. We wanna expand the video transitions and you'll see a whole bunch of them in here. I like to use this one if I expand this dissolve one. There's one here that says cross dissolve. I do like that one. I'm just gonna hold down my left mouse button and select that and drag it over. And you can see if there's a tiny little green box there, I'm just gonna drag it and drop it right over between where the two videos meet. Maybe I'll zoom in here a little bit and do it again with the other one, just like this. Drag it and drop it right there, just like that. So now when we play our video, there's gonna be a smooth transition between the clips. Now, one other thing I do wanna say, if you want to adjust the volume, make sure the audio mixer is selected up here at the top and you can adjust the master volume right here. You could slide that up and down if you wanna adjust the master volume. If you need to adjust one clip specifically, under here where it's audio, your audio tracks, you can actually just move this bar down to lower the volume just on one track. Maybe this one has a lot of wind noise and you just wanna reduce that like that. Um, that's quite easy to do. So if you have a whole bunch of clips, just go ahead and put them in there and make a big long video. Um, one thing I should mention, the longer the video you make, the more um, the more powerful computer you're gonna need to be able to handle that. Um, but if you have a standard computer, you should definitely be able to put together shorter videos. From there, we're just gonna go ahead and export this. So in order to export it, actually I should show you one thing that's part of the export. Remember at the beginning when I said our video was five minutes long? Well, this created a, our timeline at being five minutes long. So if you went past that, you would need to, you can see it changes color right here at the end and there's, I can slide this back and forth. If you went to 10 minutes, you would have to slide this portion past the end of the video. I can move this down to here. So you can see it's a lighter gray versus darker gray. We want our whole video clip to be included in the lighter gray. So if our video clip is longer, we just expand that. From there, we just need to go to this export button right here. So just click on export, left click on that. I like to go to add to queue right here, just hover over that and you'll see another little pop out here. And we can go to contents right here, just click on contents. And it's gonna take you to your export window right here at the top. Now, if you wanted to get back to the viewer, you could just click on viewer here again, but we wanna click on export. Now, again, we could select our output here. Again, leave that on 1080p. I like to select YouTube 1080p. That's what I typically use for all of mine, but if there's a different format you wanna use, you can select that there. We can select our output destination. So this is where our file is gonna go when it is all done. So we can go ahead and left click on that. A window will pop up here. Let's go ahead and click on desktop and we can name our file. We'll just say combined video. We'll hit save. So now it's gonna have changed that here. Now, I did the classic mistake where I didn't actually even save my project. So before I export this, I'm gonna save my project. You should have done this at the beginning, but we're gonna do it right now. If you wanna save your project, just go to File, hit Save As right here, or you could hit Control-Alt-Save on a Windows computer. And we're just gonna name our file. I'm gonna put this, call it Combined Video. So make sure you do that. I'm sorry I didn't do it at the beginning, but if it's all crashed, you wouldn't wanna lose all your work. All right, so back to exporting. Once you've got all that set up, so you've got your preset, you've got your output, we wanna go ahead and hit start exporting here at the top. We're just gonna click on that. And you're gonna see it's gonna start exporting right there. It says starting, it's already at four, seven, um, 20% done. Now, the longer the video, and if you're using 4K video footage, this is gonna take a lot longer. If you have a slower computer, this will take longer as well. So that's something to think about, um, the power of your computer. But for myself, this is a fairly short video, um, so it shouldn't take too long here. It's just about done, and I should be putting it on my desktop. So I'm gonna just minimize this here. And you can see it's actually creating that combined video file here. It's just about done. It just said finished, so you can see it says finished here at the top. From there, let's go, just go ahead and play, and play our combined video.
and all the nice transitions are in there. And you're done. And it's really that simple to combine videos here in HitFilm Express on your Windows 10 computer. So hope this tutorial was able to help you combine your video clips in Windows 10 using HitFilm Express. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're interested, I have created a full HitFilm Express tutorial to get you started for beginners. I'll have that video linked below in the description. Remember to connect with me on social media. You'll find all those links below as well. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.